Welcome to How to Run, your comprehensive video guide to unknown river sections. Here you will get to see every inch of a river from a drone's perspective, followed by in-boat footage showing you how to safely navigate the rapid sections. No more wondering what's around the corner or how far between rapids. Here you will learn the name of every rapid and know when to expect them. Water levels may vary and any flow change can drastically change runs. These videos are not absolute. Whitewater rafting is an inherently dangerous sport. These videos are not a replacement for experience or the ability to read and run whitewater. Please be safe and make good decisions. Welcome to how to run Buffalo Rapid right channel. Right channel is a very technical section for smaller boats only. You can only run this section at 7,000 CFS or lower. If you're going to run right channel, you need to start out as far river right as possible and follow that right side bank as tightly as you can. This is the upstream view of right channel this here on the right is a fun little surf wave called dopamine that I will show you a video of here in a minute. This is the downstream view of right channel. When you're coming into this section, you want to come in as slow as possible and as far right as possible with this angle. Now after the drop on right channel, you do end up running into this rock right here. You can either go left and hang out in that eddy and re-enter later, or you can go right and finish the run. Okay, now this is a section that we call Sitter's Alley. This is the very bottom and end of right channel. This is what makes right channel dangerous at all other water levels above 7,000 CFS. The water pushes through this section in between these rocks and straight into that cliff on the other side. Starting at just above 7,000 CFS, the water just pushes you into that cliff and it can pin you into it pretty hard. Once you start getting up into the 10, 15, 20,000 CFS water levels, then there ends up being a kind of swirl of death back there on that eddy on the right and it just keeps feeding back in on itself. Either way, it's dangerous to be back there uh, after 7,000 CFS, so it's just not a good idea and a good place to avoid above 7,000. Now here's what it looks like being ran from above. Like I said, you want to hold that right side shore as tight as you possibly can. You want to come into it pretty dang slow because you want to be controlled before you get into the entrance. You want to stay right and I would actually even have a little bit more left angle than they had here. But you will see a uh, GoPro version of it here in just a second where you can see just the angle you want. Now this is dopamine wave. This is one of the few like actually stable surf waves on this river that you can find at pretty much any level. Getting in here is a whole lot of fun. Uh, you just gotta stick a corner of your boat in there and at these water levels it can just sit here and pull you in and spit you like this. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> 